All right, guys, welcome back to the Minuteman Prep YouTube channel. This is Kathy. Hey there. And she has <laughs> never put uh, an Apollo system together. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you guys what it's like for someone who's never done it, going through it for the first time, to see how you put two Apollos with two expansion batteries in a 240 volt split phase configuration. So this is gonna be 6,000 watts output at 240 volts in order to run my entire house. So I've gone ahead and reset these as if they were out of the box in single phase. There's no cables connected on the back. Nothing is programmed already. So this is gonna be just like doing it for the first time. And uh, you're gonna see what it's like and you can follow along if you'd like, if you're doing this for yourself or I have other tutorial videos on how to do this. So let's go ahead and get right into it. You ready for it, Kathy? I'm ready. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Yes. All right, let's get user manual and we're gonna to go to about page 20. Let's see what it says. We can ignore these red, blue, and blue, gray lines right here, but we have to go from battery one to battery one, those ports between the two units with the blue labeled cable. And it's a twist lock. You kind of push it on and then you twist the ring around it. Perfect. Now we've got to do communication cables. So you have your communication one and communication two on unit one and then unit two. So you're going to go from comms one to comms one and then from comms two to comms two. Perfect. Okay. Now we've got to connect the batteries. So we're going to grab the red labeled big cable and put that between battery port two on the main unit mm -hmm. and battery port one on the expansion battery. And then we're gonna do the same for the second system. Okay, okay. that took less than three minutes. All right, now we gotta program it. So what you're gonna do, in no particular order, you're gonna flip open these clear coverings and just turn on all four pieces. Okay. All right, so now they're powering up. Let's go ahead and spin them around. This is close to 500 pounds here. And we're effortlessly right. spinning it around. There is this flashing hand on both screens, you're gonna go ahead and click that and that's telling the inverter to reset. Basically, you're clicking the AC button. And Kathy's doing it here with her stylus pen from her phone because she just got her nails done and so it's a little <laughs> bit harder to push on the screen and get the right button. Okay, you hear that nice. little click. Now you're gonna go into settings on both units and the fourth line down where it says parallel mode, mm -hmm. the center option says split phase. You're gonna go ahead and click that and do the left one as P1 and the right one as P2. Perfect, and you can see on the second unit we now have an alarm. You can go mm -hmm. ahead and click that and what that's gonna say is it's error code W17 which is going to be improper voltage between two units because both of them were at 120 volt and now they're outputting 240 together. So you can see there's a flashing finger here. Mm -hmm. you can go ahead and click that. Click UPS. Yep. And then go back to settings on this one. See if it's flashing there. Nope. Not flashing there. Okay. Now go to home on both of them. Perfect. So now you've officially wired it for 240 on the back end, now we're gonna get the front end, the output, ready for 240. You can see here, W17, inconsistent parallel operating mode. That's because we were switching between 120 to 240 for split phase. Now what we're going to do is turn off the units using those green buttons on the back. So you can undo the locks on the front, pull them forward, completely turn them off. So that way we can make all of our wire connections without anything being live, no risk of any shock. All right, so we have our interlock switch here. That's gonna provide power to the whole electrical panel for the entire house. An electrician has to put that in. This one is an S 
S2-50P, which is rated to 50 amps output. If you were only gonna do two units, you could also do an L1430P. Two different styles, different amperage ratings is really all it is. So what we're gonna do is get our split phase cable for this. So the one in your left hand has two RV plugs. That's gonna go into the RV plugs on the front of the Apollos. So let's go ahead and plug those in while the system's turned off. These plugs, these RV plugs are called TT30. That is their style. 30 is their amperage rating. Okay, and then on this end, is what's called a NEMA 1450, which is a 50 amp 240 volt. So now you're gonna open that up, get the harness off of that, and you'll see there's a 1450P, which will connect to this 1450R. R is the receptacles, P's are plugs. And then you're gonna take the SS250R connection and put it into the interlock switch outlet, or sometimes called the generator outlet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now push the buttons on the back and go ahead and get it powered up. Very good. And then you're gonna push those blinking hand finger buttons on the screens. Okay. Now we are ready to turn on the AC output, which is just pushing the AC off button, that little toggle, just mm -hmm. turn it to the on position on both units. There you go. Okay. There's the beep. So Woo. we are officially now outputting 240 volts to the house. Now let's go energize the house. We're gonna send power yes. to the whole house. Go ahead and open it up. See the very top breaker is our 200 amp from the grid. Go ahead and push that over to the left. We've lost power to the house. Now push up that metal piece and then the breaker that's underneath, slide it over. And just like that, you have now restored power to the entire house. This being your first time ever doing this, what are your thoughts? A lot easier than I thought. Okay. This is probably the hardest thing mm -hmm. to do. This wasn't too terrible. The other thing that I really like is how easy on the back with those locking, twisting for the cables. The, the split battery. phase parallel cables, the battery cables. Mm -hmm. They just went in and automatically almost like mm -hmm. started turning, which was nice. So I feel super confident like I could do this <laughs> without an yeah. issue. So this is the most common kit that we sell at poweredportablesolar.com. Two batteries, two Apollos, 20 solar panels. Oh, we should connect the solar panels, huh? Yes. Let's go ahead and do that really quick. <laughs> Okay, so on both units, you'll notice there's a plus and a minus with these MC4 connectors. Yep. You're gonna take the long side mm -hmm. of your cable there. That's the breaker for the solar panels. Yes. And you're just gonna plug them in, male to female, on each one. You're just gonna make sure that the red is going into the positive and that the black is going into the negative. Inside these breakers is a switch called the DC switch. Mm -hmm. And green means off and red means on. So you just wanna keep it on green until after we've connected the solar panels. These are just the solar cables that are running to our 400 watt panels outside. I just leave them spooled up like this for different types of use. And then now you'd be able to flip on the DC breaker on both of them. Yep, we're getting 86 watts on this one. So solar is officially going in. <laughs> so now we've officially done and then already undone so that way we don't have all these wires here. You set this up all on your own. You said it was very simple to do. Yeah. What advice would you give to anyone who's doing this for the first time? Look at the manual because it really does help mm -hmm. to know what the connectors are mm -hmm. and just have confidence. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be with connecting things. Mm -hmm. So I felt like I can do this and <laughs> yeah. it's good. And now you guys have seen how to do it from beginning to end as well as I have other tutorials on how to do that. In another video, I'll show you how to do it with four Apollos so we can run 12,000 watts, which includes being able to run air conditioners, electric dryers, everything. So if you appreciate that, smash the like button. 
You will hopefully have not seen any ads in this video because I've turned off advertising for my channel in an effort to make it easier for you guys to be able to watch my videos. If you appreciate that, you can go to patreon.com slash minuteman prep and become a contributor and get special content that will only be on Patreon and get better direct help from me if you have questions like this. You can always email us at info at poweredportablesolar.com and as well, you can get discounts, extra customer service, lifetime support, different accessories that are added onto the systems for free if you order your kits from poweredportablesolar.com. Guys, be prepared. This is an easy way to be prepared yes. and this would already be set up, ready to go, so you can just push some buttons and be powering the whole house. Pretty cool. Thanks guys, see you in the next one. Thanks. <laughs>